Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create an isometric scroll animation in Figma that you can use in your portfolio or to present your case studies. Let's get started. We start by bringing a desktop size frame. We've already designed a header with a logo and some navigation buttons. There is also a group consisting of some text and buttons, which I'm going to rename title to make it more recognizable. Additionally, we have a scroll bar made of two rectangles. I'll name the smaller one thumb and the larger one scroll bar. Now let's place the element on the frame. Next, we need to create two circles for the background effect, one small and the other larger. Give them a color. Add a layer blur. Reduce the opacity if necessary. And do the same for the small one. Adjust their positions. Select both of them and group them. Rename this group to Background Circles. You can open the group and rename the layers to Blue and Purple. Naming the layers will make the design process easier in the future. Here is a frame of a mobile app design that we have already prepared. If you need a design tutorial for this one, feel free to mention it in the comments. I'm going to rename it Foam. Now we need to create the separate parts. For making them, we need to create backgrounds with a glass effect. For a simple glass effect, we need a rectangle with 24 rounded corners and the following gradient setup. A drop shadow effect And a background blur for a better result, which I forgot to include in this tutorial. We are going to have two separate parts, so let's duplicate it. You can place any design you like. Here I added a chart and a section for members of the meeting team. When you place the design on their glass effect background, select each of them and group them. Don't forget to choose a meaningful name for them. I'll call this one chart and the other team. For making the animation, we need to export our design as PNGs because using the main design will be cumbersome with changing its dimensions and applying rotation. Bring the PNGs into Figma and set the main design aside as we do not need them anymore. Place the images on the frame.
adjust their positions select all of them and group them Name this group Inner Group and then group it again. Call it Outer Group. Don't worry, you'll understand why we do this in a few minutes. So we have a nested group called Outer Group which contains a group called Inner Group. Now we need to duplicate the frame. Drag the thumb of the scroll bar to the middle. Then, select the tile part. Press the letter K on the keyboard to change your cursor. While holding the Option and Comment or Alt and Control keys on your keyboard, reduce its size until it is the smallest it can be. Be careful not to flip it to the other side during this process. Then align it to the top of the frame. It will be so small that it will be invisible. You can check it up to this point by prototyping the thumb on the scroll bar, connecting it to the next frame and setting it to undrag. Do the same for the second frame. Here is how it looks. Now we need to animate the main part. Select the outer group and drag it to the middle of the frame. Ensure that both main parts are located in the center of the frames. Now select the inner group and rotate it 45 degrees counterclockwise. Next, select the outer group layer. Put the cursor on the top edge and press and hold the option on Command or Ctrl and Alt keys if you are using a Windows system. Drag it to the bottom to give it perspective. Now, if you play it, you can see the result. Let's add some shadow to our design. Select the chart layer. Copy it by dragging it while holding the Shift and Option or Alt key on the keyboard. Change the name of the top layer to Chart and the second layer to Chart Shadow. Now select Chart Shadow and change its fill from Image to Solid. Change the color to black. Add a corner radius of 24. Add a layer blur effect and set to 50 and change its opacity to 20%. Do the same for the other section. Now let's check the result. Now we need to duplicate the second frame. Place the thumb of the scroll bar at the bottom. Select the chart and shift it up. Then select its shadow and make it darker by adjusting the numbers as shown. Do the same for the team layer. Finally, we want to add a shadow to the phone layer. Select the phone, duplicate it, but drag it down this time. Change the layers order so the new layer is placed at the bottom and rename it to Phone Shadow, which I forgot to do earlier. Change its fill from Image to Solid. 
and a corner reduce and layer blur adjust its opacity and complete the prototype by connecting the new frame to the second one set them to on drag and now you can check it You can change the position of the background circles for a better result. And here it is. Feel free to ask any question you have about this tutorial and encourage me to make more tutorials by giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. See you next time!